Hey guys, how is it going? I hope you guys are doing really well. If this is your first time checking out Truly Divine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. So I just finished up the love reading for the weekend and had to do it in two parts because my stupid phone. But I felt like I kind of had to go deeper with some of it. Um, so I'm not going to talk about singles or relationships or marriages or any of that it's just targeted at everyone so if it resonates with you great if it doesn't then it's not meant for you but there is a message for someone so I pulled four romance cards and I'm gonna clarify kind of each of the cards so if it makes sense to you then it's for you that's what I tell people but I feel like okay with this first card it says getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens I feel like for some of you, you're on a new love journey. You're, you know, you're just learning about someone. You know, this is the beginning stages. This is figuring out, you know, can this person work? You know, is this person the one? Is this person someone I can see myself dating? Um, I don't get the feeling that it's a bad thing when I see this, like, card. Or I don't feel like there's bad energies or anything. I feel like for some of you, this is the start of something new, which is awesome. I feel like we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this. So I just want to see what science this follows under. So we've got the Hermit card. So this is Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. This might resonate with you. And Wands, Airy Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, some of you are still kind of in that Hermit mode, right? You're still kind of not sure of things. You're... You're giving this person the benefit of the doubt. Ugh, if I could speak. Oh my gosh. You're giving this person the benefit of the doubt, but you're not really opening up 100%. It's like your past um, is still affecting you in some ways. I feel like you may even be a little withdrawal. Like this person kind of makes you happy, but you're like, you know, is this going to last kind of feeling if that makes sense for some of you. I feel like you kind of just need to look within yourselves because that's where the answers are. Maybe even doing some meditation to kind of clear out the chakras, clear out any, you know, negative vibes so you don't bring that stuff from the past. Because you got the three of wands here, right? And for some of you, you know, your back is turned towards the past. You're accepting this new beginning. You're accepting this new person with this getting to know each other. You're moving on to that, you know feeling of stepping into something that is new but you're not afraid like your your back is turned towards the past you're not dealing with any of that stuff anymore you know that the relationship that you're in now or not the relationship but the person that you're investing this time with might be worth it like you're not bringing the past into the future that's what I'm trying to spit out and then there's some of you right you're still in that hermit mode you're not sure this person makes you happy maybe you're going out on dates maybe you're having fun but in the back of your mind you're like you know is this person gonna do me wrong is this person gonna cheat on me is this person gonna you know hurt me like everyone else has hurt me so you're kind of just like pulling a little back and not giving your all spirit kind of wants you to have just have faith you know believe in yourself believe that you you have that intuition within you to tell you whether something good or something bad right we've got the king of king of cups here i feel like for some of you you're not even bothering to get to know this real person on a good level for some of you it's just you know someone to pass the time with that kind of feeling I feel like this person that you're involved with, that you've been trying to get to know, this person is very kind. They're very compassionate. You know, they're very sincere. They're very caring. They want to make you happy. They want to take care of you. But you've got your walls so high up that they're like, you know, you're kind of suffocating them because they don't know how to be there for you. They don't know how to, to prove because they've got so, so many walls to climb over, right? So my advice, if that is you kind of let your guard down a little bit, kind of get out of that hermit mode, kind of realize that, you know, if you want this new beginning, if you want this new love, you've got to let go. You've got to move into the next step of this journey, into this next step of path. 
so that you can get all that you want, right? Because you won't get all that you want if you stay stuck and you stay afraid. So, we've got the forgiving and learning card here. So it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Kind of what I was saying with the other card, right? You guys need to let go of the past so that this new love that's coming through will be all that it's supposed to be. You know, without the added drama, without the added worry, without the added fear, you have to move forward. You have to trust in yourself and trust in the journey and the path. We've got the Four of Pentacles, so Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn is coming through. Seven of Cups again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we got the world. See, there is completion. There is a new beginning. This is this is good, guys. This is, you know, things coming to an end. This is things coming together. This is knowing that everything that you've been through has led you to this moment, right? You need to forgive and you need to learn how to heal. You know, forgive those that have done you wrong. Forgive those who have hurt you. You don't have to live in the past anymore. You don't have to be afraid that nothing is going to come to you that's good because what's here now what wants to be here for you now you know you're kind of pushing that away you're kind of fear right you feel like you know well he hurt me so bad in the past like how can i how can i do that again how can i open my heart but unless you want to be alone forever that's exactly what's going to happen so you got to just know that the stuff that you've been through was a lesson it was a test you know, there's abundances want, that want to come through with that Seven of Cups. This is wishful thinking. This is you guys being up all in your head. You know, you want this new beginning. You want this new love. You want this new person. But you're thinking of everything that went wrong before. And that's what's causing you to not, you know, move forward. You're being really overwhelmed and stubborn for some of you. <coughs> I feel like, you know... I want to say beggars can't be choosers, but I don't know if that would make any sense. I just feel like, you know, you're giving this opportunity to try again, to start something new. And for some of you, you're just kind of wasting it away, kind of because of fear, right? For some of you, you're just really scared, really scared of this new beginning, really scared to open your heart again. Yeah, because that's what the Four of Pentacles is about, too. This is fear as well. This is just... You know, you feel like you're holding your life in your hands. You feel like, you know, you have no one there to trust you. You feel like, how can this person possibly love you because you're so damaged? You know what I mean? You're so broken. But you know what? People will look past that. People will see you for who you are. The right person won't care what has happened in your past. They will want to make your future better. They will want to make your present better. They will be there when they say they're going to be there. They're the type of people that will call you back right away when you seem off. They're the type of people that will come see you in the rain and in the snow and in a blizzard and a lightning or a tornado. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they keep their word. And that, that could possibly be why you guys are having a hard time trying to give this new love a try. Because you've been... Someone has... Someone in your past has been so... Um, they've lied or they haven't shown you the effort they needed to so I feel like actions speak louder than words you know let this person this new person show you let them show you what they're worth right because if not you're just going to be miserable and you're just going to keep thinking that you know nothing nothing is going to come to you guys okay the other card that came up was that it's safe to love see open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all so we have water. Water is coming through a lot. We have the sun and swords. We have air too. So we definitely have this new beginning is here for some, like all, mostly all of you. you know, this is about just opening your heart, you know, trusting that the universe is going to give you what you need at the right time with the sun. The sun is here to show you. It's, it's, a sign that says, you know what, you don't have to be afraid anymore. You can move into this new beginning and know within your heart, within yourself, that this is the right person for you. 
You know, this could be just an instant connection for some of you. But I feel that guarded feeling. Maybe this is someone from your past. This is the Six of Cups. This is someone coming back from your past. Maybe this this um, Six of Cups, they want a second chance. They want to prove. You know, like I said, actions speak louder than words. Let them prove it. You know, don't just jump in, back into a relationship with them until they prove that they're worthy of your love. They're worthy of your time. They're worthy of your commitment. Don't be blindfolded to these people. Don't let these people tear you apart anymore. You know, we're past this Eight of Swords stage. We don't need to feel defeated and lost and feel like we're not worthy of love because we are very worthy of love. Don't let these people do that to you. I feel like this could even be a, with this Eight of Swords here, this is just looking at some of the situation from a different perspective, you know? If this is someone new, have they done anything yet to make you question? You know, if the answer is no, then it's all you. It's all you doing it, you know? If you are 100%, oh, it's raining. <laughs> I always like listening to rain, but if you're 100% that you're not 100% on this person, then don't rush into anything. Take that time that you need to figure out is figure out what it is that you're looking for. You know, no one says you have to jump in a relationship and get married within the next week or two weeks. Like, make this perkin, perkin, <laughs> person work for it. Does that make sense to you guys? And that's what I get from those. Pretty overall. I think this is interesting. See, and whatever is worth having is worth waiting for, right? So it says divine timing is at work in your love life. You guys don't have to feel like love's never going to come to you. You know, I've said this so many times in my dailies and my monthlies. You know, love will come to you when the time is right. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to come tomorrow, next week. It's all about working on you so that when you do get that relationship, you're going to be so much better off. You're not going to bring all this negativity from your past into your future because you're going to know your worth. You're going to be a queen. You're not going to settle for anything less than that, right? Because we have air signs still, fire signs, and earth signs. You know, you guys need to get out of that nine of swords minds where, you know, you're disappointed and you feel like it's, it's all mental, right? You feel like no one's going to love you. You're not worthy. That's what's coming through when I see that card. You just feel like, you know, this person's going to see my weaknesses or they're going to see, you know, my crazy kids or I don't know, you know, my crazy cat obsession or dog obsession or animal obsession. I don't even know why they're classifying me or telling me to go that way. But, you know, you could have something that makes you not want to go out onto the market because you're afraid that if the person sees you for who you are, they're not going to want to be with you. That's all in your head. That's all mental. You can't, if you live in that moment, then that's what you're going to get, right? <clears throat> I feel like this is, this is just in a new, a new beginning, a new time with this Eight of Pentacles. You know, this is sitting down and really sitting within yourself and asking yourself, you know what, what is it that I want? What is it that I want from people? You know, and kind of just going inside your head a little bit, but having that alone time within yourself to figure this all out. I feel like you guys have faced a lot of battles for some of you. You know, you've either dealt with controlling situations with this Queen of Wands, and, and that's maybe why you're afraid to go on this next step. You're afraid this person's going to be the exact same way, but you got to let go of the past, guys. If you want this new beginning, if you want this new love, you got to move on. You just, you've got to. As much as you feel like you're afraid and you're not worthy, I mean... You're the one in, in the blocking doorway of your love life. That makes sense. sense. It's like the doorway is in the middle and you're on one side and this new person's on the other side. And it's like your fear is blocking you from going through that door. You need to slam the fear onto the ground and walk through that door and walk into your new beginning. 
because I feel like once you do that, you're on your way. You're on your way to something amazing. You no, know, something very committed, something very happy. Just something really, really content, really happy. I'm going to leave it there. Let me know how what you guys think. Hit me up in the comments. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are taking care of yourself. Know that I'm sending you all love and light.